All right, hello everyone. So I've already put the Astro Hours on the website in the members area. This is yesterday, Tuesday. Now Monday, this is gold, right? So let's take a look at gold. Let's get rid of this. Now remember the swing days for gold, for gold. I said Monday or Tuesday, right? So, and I did say Monday, you know, we've got room to come down. We've got a lot of levels and the market actually did come down to that level, as you can see on Tuesday. All right. So now Monday or Tuesday being a swing day, here we have the Astro hours where the market started to turn around. Okay, so that's nice and easy, as you can see. Okay, now we did have some levels below as well, but it didn't get there. What it did was it came down, broke below, stuck around here for a little bit with the astro hours turned around. Okay, so no problem there. What to do with gold? Now, obviously, here we're in a bit of a tight squeeze, we have to be mindful here. So, the market making a swing day will probably push ourselves up a little bit so that's not a bad idea so let's get rid of this now because let's get rid of this as well okay and this is a daily pivot now the first hour of today is going to be at 9 15 in the morning all right um at 6 45 is now okay so 6 45 is now so a bit of a change is okay and that can be around like I said quarter past nine so we've got room to come down so if we're around here or slightly dipping down for the push up um, we're good to kind of like buy the lows but as you can see um, we'll have to see how this pans out because now we've got yeah, this is still, as you can see, a down day, and this is a zone. If you've learned, you know, technical analysis from me, or if you know technical analysis, then you know, you know, this is a zone, so the market can buy into, and that's fine. And this is the zone where we're going to have a good buy kiss. It had a good buy kiss there yesterday, dipped down, so maybe we'll get up into this red line here, which is two thousand. 378 which is going to be the weekly pivot so I'm going to get rid of this from yesterday and we'll probably find ourselves going into that weekly pivot so at the Astro hours I'm going to delete that because by the time you get the video you're going to be looking forward and not what's happening now so if we're down here at the daily pivot, the closing of yesterday at the Astro Hours, I think going up is not a bad idea. Into that 2,377. Okay. Um, the hours to look out for is also 5.15, not a bad hour. 1.45 is not a bad hour. Um, so between 1.45 and 2.30, I suspect a bit of action. Uh, and on top of that, we'll have the evening for a target, as I've noted in the members area. Okay, so making use of the swing days and the swing hours to push up into that zone is okay. Um, the market may head into a sale afterwards, but going up first in order to sell later is looking like a better option for us. Okay. Um, and that's just how it is, all right? Because um, we've still got that room 61, which is 2,250 on the weekly below. Let's take a look at Euro dollar. I did say we should be pushing up into this zone, and that's how it went. So if you went long yesterday, all of you should have been just fine. This panned out accordingly. Also, please note right that when we were talking about the euro dollar this week um or what did i say i did say we've got swing day happening on thursday so the market going up into thursday was like an option and i did put targets up here which the market did do at astro hours as you can see so from the astro hours 
that was a lot I said there'd be a push down here this was an astro hour which you could have got in in at nicely here the opening price close to the closing price market going up retracing down going into the target nice and easy okay so all of that is good what to do so Wednesday well we're in here we're pretty much at the target as you can see which is the zone which we talked about so you can wait for Thursday which is a swing day 50.55 which is 1.0730 to 65 1.0730 0.7 65 is about there okay so here is okay to sell here is okay to sell and that's it basically let's just sort this out and just bear with me okay there we go all right and this zone remember I said we should dip into this stone zone on Monday to go long and that's like exactly what happened market dips down it's an astro hour going up and then yesterday as well astro hours here going up into the target so that's all fine and that's all part of this thing that I drew yesterday as you can see so targets done nicely now we can also get rid of that All right, and then go into extension. So on this one, you can wait a little bit now because it's done the target, despite the fact there's a bit of room to go up into there. Okay, this situation, you know, it, it's got a bit of room to go up. What you don't want to be is just jumping on board anywhere. So wait for the astro hours. If the market is at the closing opening price here or the daily pivot, or if it's dipped down a little bit, that's fine into this zone you can always go up a little bit more and so on but you know we're right at the targets there so you know just be mindful because there may not be a lot of meat there at the trade you know the, the the day to trade this was like you know yesterday or Monday from the lows like I said SP 500 once again nice and easy as well remember with the SP 500 Monday was a swing day and that's your Monday so going long from this zones okay Friday was also a swing day so I did say last week that we could look to buy into it next week which is this week obviously and then the market as you can see went nice and beautifully up with our PST indicator there too on the weekly going up was nice okay so that's all honky dory um, what to do the market still has a bit of room I guess to come back up into that zone um, but I'd be a bit cautious um, maybe you want to wait for the swing days or um, if you're going to buy because remember I said this would be a target and that kind of was a target the other option is if we keep pushing up we're going to get into this zone okay and getting into that zone can put us into there all right which is right on that channel line which I don't mind trading but at the end of the day you know we've got to be we have to exercise a little caution now here where you can get in is that's the daily pivot so if the market dips down into there and into there because there's a gap there all right, so let me just refresh this. If the market comes into the daily pivot or slightly lower at the astro hour, going up is okay. If you want to sell, then you've got to sell these levels there. Um, that 5,104 is, yeah, the lower that, you know, 5,105. So, you know, if it comes up here, 5,105, 
selling it off from here is not a bad idea at Astros if it comes up first but remember you know just exercise caution at the highs because we've got swing days happening later on okay so you know be a bit careful if we're down here first before we get up there and then you know do this little uh, creepy crawly kind of trend upwards you know not something like this but something like that right little by little little by little that'll be nice to follow through because then they'll have an opportunity to slap it down so you know if it comes down first and then does a creepy crawly up then selling will be good all right if it doesn't come down but you know mucks around here then wait for thursday to see what's happening and then you can trade off it let's take a look at dow jones nasdaq and bitcoin now with dow jones also remember we have tuesday for a swing day that's your tuesday happening in this week if i go to the daily that's your tuesday okay that's your ch wait a minute that's your friday swing day that's your tuesday here now here we've got to be a bit careful as well because tuesday is a swing day all right and this is like not a bad spot to kind of like sell off okay so this was one zone which is fine on the weekly we've got room to push up a little bit more but this zone is seemingly okay actually yeah so we might what we might do is dip in here so just a little bit more pushing up might cause this to come further down okay so this is a beautiful rush up um, something like this boom that may lead to a downfall so selling looking to sell on a swing day might be the way to go should you sell today it's a question it's a question um, let's check out the news all right let's just check out the news today so we only have the 330 and that's about it what about tomorrow Thursday initial jobless claims Friday yeah core PCE price index so we don't have much happening today but still got to keep an eye on the news because I don't have anything for 330 today so what should happen is the market should position itself before 330 all right so be mindful for that one and yesterday there was news no wonder nice little pull up okay so we'll have to see how things pan out um, and that's it so from this zone you we might look to sell we'll just have to wait for a reaction to see how the market sets up okay because it's done all the targets here on the weekly we still may have a little bit more room to go up 38754 maybe 38754 is gonna be wait a second this is okay this needs to just come up a little bit all right there same kind of thing as sp500 if we come down first pushing up is okay because this uh, as you can see this is above the previous week's high um, so if we come back down there will be an opportunity to go back up okay if it goes up first there'll be an opportunity to sell there nasdaq now with the nasdaq as well swing days with the indices they're all going together more more often than not 
so the market as you can see Friday was a swing day so Monday Tuesday obviously buying I did say we'd probably get up into this zone so if you bought the astro hours going up you should be just fine as you can see all right this is an hourly chart and a 15 minute chart you should be just fine and the market breaking out coming into these target zones which I talked about so that's yesterday coming into that zone what to do with this well like I said you got to mark this level in 17777 let's get rid of this 17 triple seven somewhere around here okay so we should be heading into this zone if you could if you can see that all the indices have the same kind of layout there's a target at the top it's not quite there so we're either going to go up there and then sell off or we're going to come down and then buy into it okay so don't rush it wait for the price to get to where it needs to get to before trading now with bitcoin let's see we might still have a bit of room to go up to sell off at 59 as you can see 68 335 so that's a sell zone if we get into that uh, and as you can see there's a bit of indecision there so market not making a lot of moves maybe dumping selling off is the way to go okay so why because that's an impulse wave and now we have the we have like kind of retracement into this zone and then from here selling again may be the way to go so if you want to sell do it from those levels at the highs on the weekly that 78 is too far out but 78,272 is like you know out there so we, you won't really know if it if we're getting there until you know unless the market's kind of like giving us a sign so should you buy into that you can buy into it if it comes down but look 3089 is a price of 57 730 now 57 730 is a breakout 57 all right so somewhere here if the market comes down here closes below that then it's going to be bearish okay so i'd exercise caution on this if you're trading it if it breaks down you know buying is a good option if it comes further down there's room to come down before buying again all right so be a bit mindful it's a little tricky today looks like but if you were in the game on the swing days for the indices monday tuesday you should have been okay um because that worked out fine um also gold i said monday or tuesday um, and that's also good if you bought the lows with these have to be a bit more cautious um, Wednesday is a swing day for this Monday also um, remember Monday was a swing day Monday we had a big day up now we're on Wednesday so the market may reach a spot and then start to fall off if at astro hours they start to sell off as well you know I wouldn't be surprised you can also try and do that at these levels here the previous week's high previous days highs and so on so this zone is also okay to sell off at astro hours to kind of like push it forward down all right i hope that helps